hello thinkers welcome to this unboxing um this is one of many boxes we'll be opening up even in the course of this month here yeah, and um i'm so excited this is a chinese made spot welder i've needed spot welder for most of my project especially um recycling and reusing of the dead laptop batteries that have been you know salvaging over time i've got quite a lot of them here that i will need the spot weather to you know that i'll need the spot weather to build for a battery pack for some of my projects on immobility and other things that may need batteries so this is a chinese spot welder that just came in and let us do the unboxing and do the reviews together come with me guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe this is a growing community of learners we learn together on this channel and we are growing i want you to smash the subscribe button like this video help us share it so we can reach out to so many people across africa and the globe at large um, for my existing subscribers, uh, thank you always. You are always there. You come back. You give comments. I love you. Mm -hmm. So let us do the unboxing right now. Let me quickly run you through the specification of this spot weather as we keep unboxing it. According to the manufacturer, this exact type is JST IIS. Apparently, there are other models that are distinguishable with their sizes and other functionalities. And one is the JST III, for the purpose of this presentation, shall be pronounced as triple high, with here actuated JST IIS. The JST triple high has length of 260 mm by width of 160 mm and a height of 200 mm, compared to the JST IIS with a length of 183 mm by width of 164 mm and height of 130 mm. The GST Triple I can be called big for nothing as it is the biggest among the series. When compared to the more compact GST IIS with more functionality for a DIY enthusiast like me. It's very well packed. I mean, with all of this, you are sure to have um, a safe shipping and your your system will not be impacted by anything. So this is all that came with the the spot where that came pre-installed. All that is needed I mean, is just to do a little adjustment and fastening the bolts and screws. This is a foot pedal. This is the extra. This. I think you have to adjust this teeth a little. Yeah. That's the extra here. Oh no. This is for battery hold down. To hold your battery cells in place while you do it then some extra materials here yeah. you have this tip I think a lot of it you have fuse you have allen key these are the naked strip beautiful they put some strips to, you know, test the. It's beautiful. It's really nice. I like it. It's well packed. Well packed. This is the user manual. Um, few pages. It's looking really nice. The spot welder electrodes come in a plastic insulator used to mount it to the top of the welder. It is detachable in case you are interested in using it for non-conventional welding. It is built for convenience. Fancy. 
that's for the heights to be. Yeah, 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 you can. This is. You have to tighten it all through because this thing is plastic. So generally, I think this has to be tightened very well too. Let's see. I think the height is reasonable. The input so, voltage of this device is 110 to 220 volts, and, and for my country Nigeria, we are on 220 to 240 volts. So you can get the actual voltage for your wow. specific country. The adjustment settings are the current, which runs from a range of 1 to 99, uh, pulse 1 to 6, 17. and delay 1 to 99 as well. The adjustment oh, settings is there for you to make your own settings for the best result. Okay. The current okay. refers to the welding output. The higher the value, the greater the output. Where you put the foot pulse right refers to the current duration of welding. That is, the higher the value is, the longer the time it takes to weld. Delay refers to the time between triggering the switch and starting to weld. The higher the value, the more time it takes to trigger. Yeah. The major difference between GST Triple High and GST IIS is that with GST Triple High, the user set the weld current and the program uses calculus to calculate the weld pulse. Invariably, the higher the weld current, the greater the world cost. And as you can see uh, with this GST IIS, the user set their own preferences. The maximum output of this spot weather is 3.5 volt and 1000 amps maximum. This spot weather is suitable for nickel plated steel sheet of 0 to 0 0.1499 mm. It can be used to make battery packs for power banks, cars, and electric tools just as preferred and this is one of its advantages above the GST triple high that can only handle smaller packs of battery. It's not compulsory that I have the O6, I just want to yeah, it goes, you know, quickly. While testing the welder, I took it from a lower current and gradually increased it to about 35. That, that, that's not good enough. Let me see if I can increase the current. I have to put this on my foot so that I'll be able to depress, depress the tongue of the battery enough to so see how that gets. Yeah. Ah, yeah, this is strong enough now. Thank you. 
had a blue zone, it's a little bit rusty. It's not working. What is it? What is it? This is what we got. It's working really fine. See that? This setting of uh, 35 degrees is working fine. I do it twice sometimes and I want to see how well for best result I found 40 to be the best wow. setting for the current and pause so is good for three or four for the world actually, to be good delay you know, is good at two well this spot weather comes in handy for me and I will put it to good use until another video guys please like and share this one I'll see you Yeah.